Good morning and welcome to your guided reading video for Friday the 26th of February. We've made it to the end of the week and we are finishing this week's reading with some summarising. Okay, so we are going to think back and focus in on a main character of our legend, the legend of Podkin One Ear. So we're going to be summarising what we know all about the main character Podkin in this session. Okay, so what I want you to start doing already as I'm talking is to think about what do you know about Podkin. Now, hopefully you've been keeping up with the Reading for Pleasure videos, in which case you'll know the story. I know some of you, Tilly Ann, and some of you, Tasia, have really enjoyed the book, so much so that you have bought the book for yourself and you've read through. So you should have an excellent um, level of knowledge. For those of you that haven't been keeping up with the story, or for those of you um, who have dipped in and out, it would be really good uh, for you to just make some time to go back perhaps through the last um, week or two of reading for pleasure videos so you can catch up with where the story is now um, and find out a bit more about Podkin, what he's gone through, the whole journey um, that he and the team have been going on, as it's a fantastic book, first of all, and good to listen to. But secondly, it will give you lots more ideas for this task today. So things that I'd like you to be thinking about in terms of summarising who Podkin is as a character include what he looks like. So we can think about his physical, uh, physical appearance um, and something unique about him uh, to do with his ears. Clue in the title there. Uh, you could include um, summarising about his family, what happened to his father and his mother, the special weapon that he has, his personality, what he's like, as a person, how he feels about his sister Paz and the relationship he has with her and how he behaves. You may have other ideas that fit into other categories and that's brilliant. And your task for today is to, first of all, sketch or print out an illustration of Podkin. If you find sketching a bit tricky and find, find that a challenge, you could just write the word Podkin in the middle of your page um, or you could just draw a quick outline of um, rabbit ears and a head, something to make it simple, make it work for you. Um, and then around the outside of that, I'd like you to note down your thoughts all about Podkin to summarise his character. Now, on the next slide that I'm going to show you is an example to get you started. And I am then going to model to you how I would use that starting point to then build in my ideas, reflecting all the time on what I know about Podkin and his character. So here we have it, an illustration. Of course, if you've got a printer, you could um, have a quick search and find an illustration of Podkin. Or if you like sketching, perhaps you'd like to copy this or copy from the front cover. Um, a sketch of Podkin. So we want him in the middle of our page, he's the main character and all the ideas that we have are going to be um, written down around him. Okay, so we're going to start first of all with recording our information using uh, straight lines drawn with a ruler coming out from different parts of his body. Okay, now the very first piece of information that is probably the most obvious about Podkin is how many ears does he have? Of course, it's one, the legend of Podkin, one ear. Okay, so one piece of information that we can write down here is that he lost an ear. Okay, so we can say that he has one ear. Okay, now in a moment, I'm going to show this on full screen, but just to get us started, I'm going to keep this main bit on here um, so that you can see how I build from these ideas. So first of all, and I'm drawing it actually where his missing ear is. And I'm going over my blue sack, there we go, up to here. And I'm going to write down something that I know, something simple, something obvious, one of the first things I think about. Okay, he has lost an ear. Okay, and if you like, you can put a little circle around that to make it really clear. And something else that I know about Podkin is that actually he's no ordinary rabbit. Actually, he is the son of a chieftain, isn't he? So he kind of has a bit more responsibility. OK, and he's expected to behave in certain ways. So another quick fact. And again, I'm just going to draw this line from another part of him and say he is the son 
of a cheap so fantastic draw on that one okay so again thinking about some basic bits of information here and I noticed in the illustration here that he's holding a weapon. And then, of course, it reminded me um, that at the moment, Podkin has been given a very special weapon. OK. Um, and of course, the name of this, I've given you a clue that the hint on here is what? Call it out now. It's something beginning with S. It's called Star Claw. Well done if you remembered. So we can say that he carries. a special weapon called Star Claw. Again, go around that one, and I'll show you this in large screen in a moment. A uh, couple more, well, obviously a main part of um, his story um, in terms of this, the legend of Podkin One Ear, is that he is trying to escape from the Gorm. So when they came to his warren, he had to run away. So we could summarize here by saying he had to escape from the Gorm. Let's draw it across over here. Can you see how I'm starting to space these out really clearly so that I've got space in between to extend my ideas. So he had to escape from the Gorm. Fantastic. And again, it might be quite interesting for you to explore a comparison with Podkin and his sister because they're very different, aren't they? So I could summarize here by saying, unlike his sister Paz, Podkin is very, what word could we use to describe him? It's been used in the book as well, beginning with L. Podkin is very, l what is that? What is he described as? Well done if you've got it, lazy. He describes being lazy. He avoids all of his lessons. He's supposed to be learning how to do lots of different important skills to be ready to become a chieftain one day. And he slinks off and goes for naps instead. So we can also put down here, uh, unlike his sister Paz, he is lazy. Okay, so again, let's go through. Now then, let's go back into our um, full screen mode. There we go. And you can see, if I just put that down a little bit there, you can see how actually we're starting to summarise all the things that we know about Podkin and his character. Okay, and this is a really good task for you to do, to think back and reflect on everything that you know from the beginning of the story to now, and to really build up your um, understanding of him as a character and what he's been going through on this journey. Okay, and so we've got some basic statements. Now, for some of you, this might be a really good place to start. You might like, like then to think of all of the other basic, really important things that you know about Podkin. Maybe you might even go into the fact of saying, well, what does his family look like? Who's in his family? Can you name his sister? Can you name his brother? And you might add a line here to say, he has one sister called Paz and one little brother called Poot. Okay, you might have another branch that goes up here that says along his journey, he has met lots of different characters. So he has met a witch called Bridget, um, he has um, uh, visited Lady Redwater, who tried to betray him. Um, we know perhaps in the family one here, he has got two cousins, don't we, called uh, Rusty and Rufus. So there's lots of information that you could be pulling out here. And those need to be written just around the outside here using a branch for each new idea that you've got. But of course, we know that actually, we have more that we could add to each of these points and we can extend and develop what we know and summarize even further. Okay, so for example, if I start with this idea up here, he is the son of a chieftain. Well, then what I'd like you to be thinking about is, well, actually, how do I know that? What information do I know also about him? Who is his chieftain father then? And then I could add some ideas. 
So here are my main ideas, my key important pieces of information. Watch what I can do here. I can use sub branches, smaller branches, to build ideas, okay, and add other information that I know that is linked to the idea of him being the son of a chieftain. So I can put here that his father was now what can you remember his father's name? Begins with an L. His father was sounds a little bit like Podkin, doesn't it? His father was Lotkin. Well done if you remember that. His father was Lotkin and he was chieftain of Witch Warren. Where does Podkin come from? Begins with an M. Can you remember it? Well done if you have. His father was Lotkin, chieftain of Munbury Warren. And again, if you'd like to, you can draw a little circle around it just to show a nice bit of a neat presentation. Okay, so there's probably more that I could add to that. I could add to the fact that his father was um, attacked by the Gorm and is now probably dead. Okay, so I could add that on the top there. And then I can think about these other key ideas and key summarizing statements that I have about Podkin. And I might go back to this one. He has lost an ear. Well, I've, that's a really important fact. We've summarized that. But how? So I can add this on here. And I could think about the fact that actually Paz had to cut it off, didn't she? His ear got stuck under the prong of a portcullis and she had to cut it off so that they could escape. So we might describe that bit up here as Paz had to slice it off when it got stuck. Or spiked, didn't it? Spiked by a fort. Alice. Wrong. Okay. Again, just going to put that around here so I can summarize that nice and neatly. Okay, again, I could go off with more ideas and you can take these ideas and extend them as much as you can, continually adding sub branches so that you can extend that information. Who, who was it that was trying to um, catch them when they were at Redwater Warren, for example? Um, so we know about Lady Russet and she was going to betray them to the Gorm. So you can actually add as much information as you know. Okay. And for example, down here, the character of special weapons in Stark Law, what do we know about Stark Law? What is Stark Law? Again, I can extend it down here. Stark Law is a dagger belonging to his father. Okay, and what else do we know about it? Let's draw around here. Does the dagger belong to his father? The dagger is mm. one of the what? The dagger is one of the 12, how is it described? 12 gifts, isn't it? The dagger is one of the 12 gifts given by who? By the, hmm, a bit like in a myth, isn't it? Who do we have? A little bit like in um, different religions, we might have important people. What they'd be called beginning with G, the G, the G, goddesses, the two goddesses that we've heard about. The dagger is one of the 12 gifts given by, oh, the light's gone out. Let's wake it back up again. Here we go. Given uh, by the goddesses. Okay, so draw around that one. And you know, when I first started drawing out, because look, uh, here's one I prepared earlier year four, you know, tr true Blue Peter styley. Okay, I started making this. And when I first started writing down what I knew about Podkin, I thought, Oh, I only know a few things about him, really. But the more I got thinking about what I knew about him, the more ideas popped into my head. 
I'm actually using these branches to grow my information and to summarize all about Podkin and his um, character, what he's like, who he knows, where he lives, parts of his journey. I realized that actually, I know a lot more about Podkin than I first realized. And I hope that will be the same for you as you go through. Let's return to the slides and just have a little look at what your work could look like by the end of this session. Okay. Now, by the end, you could have um, a mind map sort of around the outside of Podkin. So it's a bit like this. Now, in this one, I have chosen to color code because I think it looks really clear. So that might be something you like to do today. You uh, take one idea and then you build off it in one color. And then when you think of another idea, you write it in a different one. You can see here that I've given you a clue. So you can copy down or magpie these ideas from me and then fill in the missing words that I've given in here. Okay. But of course, you can do this in your own words, in your own way, and you can add in as many ideas that you have that are linked to Podkin and what you know about him so far in the text. Okay, I'm really looking forward to seeing this. Make sure you send a photo of your work to your class teacher uh, so, so we can see how you're doing and see how well you can summarise our main character Podkin. Okay, off you go.